Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome to our Town Hall 6 Let's Play. Yes guys, the Town Hall 5 upgrade from my previous Town Hall 5 Let's Play has been finished. And um, now we are going to be enjoying three days of epic boosts. I love it. Power Potion Boost, Resource Boost, Star Bonus Boost. Three days of bliss. I absolutely love it. So let's uh, bounce out of here and start the first day of our Town Hall 6 Let's Play. I love Town Hall 6. Town Hall 6 is a great Town Hall. It's the first Town Hall where you can truly get strategic with your spells. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. We also have some, some troops that make attacking so much easier. We'll talk about that here in a little bit too. Also, um, I have finished all the collections of mines. If you guys have been following along and you watched the Town Hall 5 Let's Play finale, then you guys saw that I hadn't quite finished all my collectors and mines, but it's all done. We are completely done. And now I can uh, dedicate all of my time, all of my effort to brand new stuff. So if I go into my shop, I can see the new stuff. All right, so we have no new offense buildings. Interesting. I do have a new gold mine and a new collector. That's ironic because I'd rather not spend my time upgrading them. But hey, free loot, right? You can't argue with that. Um, so we'll get the new collector and the new mine, both of those being 10 second upgrades. And again, this is just my suggestion. Follow along if you guys are doing a new Town Hall 6. Let's get all the new walls and I can probably put them all here. Um, right, right there. That should line up okay. Uh, I think it was, oops, I think it was 25 new walls, so shouldn't, yeah, the, the the rocks over there shouldn't be a problem. So there we go, we got our new walls. I'm gonna have to build myself a new updated base. I've got a bunch of new defenses, three of them being three hour upgrades, and then one of them being eight hour, so something to consider. Also, we have some traps, all of which are zero second upgrades. This is beautiful. All right, so let's get this spring trap, place it down there. Again, I'll, I'm just getting the stuff, I'll, I'll appoint them spots on my base here shortly. So there you go. So now that I'm at Town Hall 6, the only new stuff I still need to get before I have my complete base design layout would ideally be the fourth builder, uh, but we'll see if we ever get there. Um, we also have the mortar, the wizard tower, the air defense, and the air sweeper. All brand new defenses, or not brand new, but like new to my base. The brand new one would be the air sweeper. We haven't had that before. It's gonna be exciting when we get it. Um, all right, so now that that's done, let's talk about day one upgrade priorities. I've got a little bit of loot. I've got a load of loot in my treasury, though. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and collect that just so that we have all that we need. Now, as you can see, 1.2 million golden elixir capacity. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and as usual, number one priority for any day one upgrade would be your laboratory. Yes, so a 10-hour upgrade. Um, we're looking at uh, 270,000 elixir. It's a it's a no-brainer. Okay, we're gonna upgrade this right here, right now. Three, two, one, bam. Okay, so as you guys probably saw, I forgot to point it out, but that goblin upgrade was going from the previous town hall. Um, it will be finishing about an hour and a half or so after this. So if I get to film that moment, so that'd be cool. That would be great. Unfortunately, that would be past midnight for me. So probably not gonna happen. Uh, but whenever I do film again, you'll see that the goblins finished at the same time as the laboratory, give or take an hour and a half or so. So, uh, laboratory is done. Now, the next step would be considering something like maybe the clan castle. Can I upgrade that? I can. All right. That's a major thing because now I can hold a capacity of 20, not just 15. So that, that makes a huge difference. I can bring an extra balloon, extra hog rider, or a dragon? Are dragons 20? I'm pretty sure dragons are 20. So we can actually start throwing dragons in our clan castle. Uh, it's a big time upgrade. And what else? Is there anything else that's like a super duper high priority? See right there it says my, oh, obvious, hello, the spell factory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, that's a top priority right there. Um, spell Factory, a one-day upgrade. Healing spells, hello, super important. In fact, you know what? Oh, okay, I've only got three builders, okay? I can't use my builders just yet. Um, let's spend some gold on these walls, okay? Let's just get them sort of upgraded. Um, I'm mostly just making room in my storage. Okay, that'll work for now. And wow, 800,000. That number looked familiar. I literally just looked at an upgrade that was 800,000. But no, I'm not gonna do it just yet. Okay, so now that I've made some room, let's go do a couple of raids, because obviously it's a Clash of Clans video. You gotta do some raids. And, um, oh wow, we're five minutes into the video already. That's crazy. Uh, I'm gonna continue to do some raids. I've got my army. Um, 
The, they have the power potion, but the power potion always looks at your laboratory level, not your town hall. So uh, not until this laboratory finishes will I actually have power potioned town hall six level troops. Right now, I have power potioned town hall five level troops, which makes no difference for me right now because my army is maxed out in the lab. So uh, we'll, we'll see the major difference once this laboratory is upgrade. A lab laboratory upgrade is done. Also, I think this is a, yeah, it's a one minute upgrade. Let's go ahead and do those just to get them out of the way. All right, and let's go do a couple of raids. I've also got some extra practice rounds. I've also got some extra um, goblin maps that I can do now. I mean, there's just a lot that we can be doing. It's amazing. All right, guys, so, ooh, Town Hall 6. Look at that loot, dude. Wow. 400,000 gold? What? Okay. Yeah, that's definitely... I'm, I don't even care how much... Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> let's take this base on, shall we? I'm going to use a giant and a wizard combination. We should be able to take this thing down, I hope. Here, let's get a couple of archers to back it up. Come on, guys. Come on. There you go. Nice. Okay, so the air defense is down. Same thing with this uh, wizard tower. Let's actually do two giants and a wizard and a few archers just to make sure we get rid of this wizard tower. Those are the main two things. Air defense, wizard tower against your balloons. The balloons being the most important part of your attack. Let's come in from this far side though, so I can take them out with the rest of my attack. I don't have a lot of giants left. I got loads of barbarians though. Probably too many. I might have, I might have an imbalance here. Uh, let's get the wizards in there and also I'm going to drop the double lightning on the air defense and wizard tower. Okay, okay. And then can I go like one, two, three, four, and then CC directly at that other air defense? Yeah, I'm gonna be taking some shots and just doing a decent amount of loot, uh, loot, <laughs> damage, doing a decent amount of damage. But um, yeah, this is still, these are there's, these are strong troops, so it'd be kind of amazing if they were able to withstand me. But um, all right, so the only thing, there might be a, t uh, Tunnel 6s don't have Teslas, okay. The only thing that might stop me here is if this balloon can't get to this uh, arch tower quickly enough. Oh man. If those balloons were maxed out. I'm not complaining about my clan mates, I'm not. But I'm just saying, objectively speaking, I would have three starred that if my balloons were maxed out. So unfortunately, I didn't have any max balloons in my CC, but I might have lost the raid, but I got a ton of loot. I'm okay with the loot. That was pretty awesome. But unfortunate, and I, I didn't see the sweeper. Let me, let me go look at that replay real quick. I didn't see that sweeper at all. It was, oh, it was up here. See, I could have easily, because remember I wiped out the air defense in the wizard tower on the outside. I could have easily taken out that sweeper too. I didn't see it, but it didn't really affect anything. That archer tower there was the main issue. Okay, never mind. I just didn't see it. My bad. It was above that square that was empty. It was confusing. So I'm going to request for some CC troops while I wait on them. Can I do any of these? 15 minute upgrades. No, I'm not gonna do that right now. I don't have time for that. Uh, let's go into the builder base for those of you who have been watching and following along with my builder base as well. I don't follow it. I'm not like super like t -t -t -t, like showing everything. I do a lot of upgrades off camera, um, but I just want to give you guys a heads up and where I'm at in builder base. I'm currently upgrading the air bombs again. Um, my uh, my uh, dragons will be upgraded to max for builder hall four, which is the level I'm at. Uh, I need 400,000 Builder Elixir to get that going. And then I would like to upgrade and max up my gem mine. At the same time, I want to go to Builder Hall 5. So that's kind of my plan. Everything else, all the other upgrades are just if I have loot. And if I have the time, I just do it. Uh, and, and generally speaking, I prioritize air targeting stuff like the firecrackers or the air bombs. Um, that's just how I do it. I don't think I don't know if it's wrong. I don't think there is a wrong or a right. But that's just how I've been doing it. So that's Builder Hall. And uh, again, really close to going to Builder Hall 5. Looking forward to it. Okay, no CC troops. That's totally cool, man. I, I don't mind the challenge. Uh, let's go try to find a base that I can actually take out. I lost 29 trophies during that loss. That was rough. So I definitely don't want to do that again. Let me try to find a base that I'm a little bit more like that one. Like that was more my speed. <laughs> Uh, but I, I want better loot than that. So let me try to find a base. Actually, you know what? Three starring. Remember, I got that five star bonus from the boost, right? From upgrading the town hall. So I've got that for three days. So I definitely need to get five stars like immediately. So you know what? I'm not going to worry. I should have attacked that base earlier. I'm not going to worry too much about 
Okay, never mind. I found a I found a base worth a decent amount of loot, and I think I can three star it. Okay, let's try this. Uh, first of all, is there a CC? There is. That is a big fat bummer. Um. Okay. Um. Hmm. Here, let me just distract with a, a barbarian. All these guys are gonna run across. They're not super high level troops, so that's good. Um. And actually, you know, ooh. Um. I'm trying to think how I want to do this here. Here. Pull them over again. I'm just trying to get them away from the other defenses. That's the main thing. There we go. Okay. One, two, three. And then surround them with archers. There we go. All right. I think the bombardment is complete. Very nice. And I actually uh, uh, drew them over kind of in the side that I wanted them to come. I wanted to take out the wizard tower in the mortar as, uh, as quickly as possible. So I'm going to actually drop the lightning spells on the mortar and on the wizard tower. Everybody's in very quickly, so that was awesome. And now I want to use my balloons, but I'm going to hold on to them until my troops can successfully, hopefully they can do it quickly, successfully take out, there we go, there's a mortar, but take out the air defense. That's the main thing for, for that. Um, are there any corner buildings? No? Okay, that's good. Look at all those tombstones we out here. Yeah, clean kill, man. Clean clan castle kill. Ooh, okay, we may have a problem here, guys. Um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get this air defense down. And if that's the case, and I definitely won't be able to three-star because my balloons cannot handle a direct assault against an air defense that's pretty well upgraded. So, unfortunately, we're only... Again, that clan castle, it makes all the difference. Uh, I didn't get a clan castle, so it's not going to work out for me. Um, here, let's just let's get our balloons in here. Hopefully, I can take out this archer tower at least. And then these archers up here can secure the two-star. Hopefully that happens. It probably won't. It looks like it's not going to happen. Wow. See those balloons at Town Hall 5 and, and whatever. I don't even know. I don't remember what level we got them. But balloons are not good until like Town Hall 9. Okay. They just, they don't have the oomph, the power that I'm used to them having. I mean, they're, they're like invulnerable. It's crazy. But not, not now. At least not. Maybe once the laboratory upgrades, we'll have that power potion effect. Maybe we'll be able to notice that they're, they get better. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, um, archers are still doing a good job. I, I don't think that they're going to survive after this elixir storage. So let's see actually what happens. And let me see. How many of y'all are? There's two of you. That's why it's taking so flipping long to get this elixir storage. And if I got max elixir already, you know what? I'm not going to get to 50%. Let's just go ahead and close out. It's not going to do any good. I've already maxed up my elixir storage anyway. All right. So there we go. Uh, 50, oh, six, okay, 60,000 gold. Not too bad. And uh, 95,000 elixir. I don't know how much I kept because, again, my storages are nearly full. But at least I got a, a star for this 4x star bonus. So that's 720,000 free loot I need to get. I probably, I might even do that off camera since I'm out of time right now. But, uh, but yeah, there you go. So... With the boost, loot really isn't the issue. The main issue is how many builders you have. I'm still working toward getting the fourth builder. I need a thousand gems. I have 638. But I definitely know what the top three priorities are for Town Hall 6 whenever it comes to day one. And Spell Factory is definitely a close second in importance. Okay? Uh, one day upgrade, but it's absolutely essential. Getting the healing spell... Very, very useful. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. Also, not only does it unlock the heal spell, which is incredibly useful, but also the spell storage capacity increases. So you can, not only can you maybe carry two lightning spells, but you could carry four lightning spells because each one's one capacity. Or you can bring heal spells. You bring two of them because each one of those is two capacity of a four total. So anyway, it's just amazing. This, this upgrade is absolutely essential. So four, 400,000 elixir in three, two, one, bam. All right, and then next, I'm just going to look at the list real quick. So, Clan Castle, we already talked about that. That's probably what I'm about to upgrade. We've also got the Barracks. Those are expensive, but they're good. They have all the new defenses. I want to get to those, but not until the offense and super important stuff is done. Um, yeah, okay, totally. Okay, so it's, it's very clear what I need to do. Now, the next thing I think would be super good to do would be the Barracks, because they are unlocking the Healers, which I didn't... I told you guys we'd, we'd bring it back. Healers, they're the, they're the first time... 1006 is the first town hall where there's the potential, there's never ending potential in your attack. As long as you keep the healers alive, they keep your troops alive. Keep them away from the, 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 the air defenses and you're good. So healers are essential. I love them so much. I cannot wait to use them, but I'm not ready for them just yet. I have higher priorities and one of those is the clan castle. And the reason why is also because 
I want to spend some gold. I've got lots of gold. I'm going to spend it. So 12 hour upgrade this time. That'll put me at uh, about 3 a.m. So definitely uh, won't watch that one finish. But uh, hey, it's still good, right? So 800,000 gold, 12 hour upgrade, three, two, one, bam. All right, guys. So let's look at the let's look at the schedule. OK, the schedule. What's going on right now? Laboratory 10 hours from now. That's 1 a.m. for me. I'm not going to be awake. I might be awake, but I'm not going to be filming. The next one is the Klein Castle. 12 hours away. 3 a.m. I won't be awake for that. And then the Spell Factory, 24 hours from now. 3 p.m. tomorrow. So uh, next video, I may or may not have the Spell Factory upgrading. But I will definitely have those two builders available and the laboratory will be available too so lots of cool stuff looking forward to guys town hall six an absolute blast and i cannot wait to get into it guys that's day one priorities uh again all the new defenses are essential the barracks are essential because of healers and uh and army camps dude the new army camp upgrade gives you another plus five so right now i'm able to have 135 troops Upgrade to all three armor camps to get to 150. Nice square number, right? So yeah, good times, good things coming our way. For now, though, guys, that's going to do it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 6 Let's Play Premiere Day 1 Priorities. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And ring that bell for notifications so that you can see when our videos actually go live. Don't forget also to use code Klaus if you guys decide to buy something. Gold pass, gems, packs, whatever. It's very important that you, you make sure you're supporting a content creator. If not me, somebody else. Just make sure you're doing that if you buy something in the game. Because it just is super helpful for us content creators. Believe me. Uh, it gives a small percentage of your purchase to that content creator so definitely be sure and use it and remember though that the code does expire so you want to make sure that the code is active in your shop so look for the little white c if it says supporting then you're good if it doesn't then be sure and use the link in the description to input the code automatically or do it manually in the settings also don't forget i know lots of those like announcements at the end of the video i'm sorry but don't forget that i am making exclusive clash of clans content not seen anywhere else on amazon's new app called game on you can find the link down below in the description go check it out watch my content follow and it would be awesome to see you there guys that's all for me remember i love each and every one of you and i will see you all again next time